James Harden could be back soon for the Nets. Kyrie took an elbow to the face. Are we, last night, are we ever going to see all three of them healthy <laughs> for a period of time where we can make a determination on really what type of team they are? Well, you know, this is why there's, it's so great for them to have three of these guys because most of the time they're going to be able to win with just two of them. And the thing about Kyrie is um, he, he's a, a fragile player. I mean, I'm not trying to insult him, but if you look at his career, he, his bones crack. You know, he's had some hand injuries. He's had some facial uh, breaks before. Blows, that, blows to him cause broken bones and cracked bones and injuries that other players don't. So when you have Kyrie on your team, you're just going to know that he's going to be a little fragile. And so having him as your, as your lead player is challenging as the Celtics figured out. But if you've got Durant and Harden also there, and I know Harden's been out, but you know, if you go look at his last five years, the guy usually never misses games. So you just have to hope that you have them together and their their incredible advantage is that they've got so much firepower uh, and redundancy and a margin for error that even if all three of them are healthy and one of them just has a bad game, mm-hmm. you know, Harden goes three of 17, Kyrie goes four of 20, that they can survive a playoff game because of all of that firepower, which is, you know, what, what guys like Jay have been talking about since the day they made the trade. Wendy, before we let you go, we're doing a thing on the show um... – and I, and I think it was Bobby Marks and Kevin Pelton did a kind of futures look at the NBA. So who will win a championship? You know, the, the, the better teams in the next three years. That's what we're asking. If you could guarantee a team will win a championship, which team would it be over the next three years? Who's the team that you would put your money on? Ooh. Who are you taking, yeah. Wendy? Well, it's foolish to guarantee anything in the NBA because um, it's, you know, the league is changing every minute of the day. But we're going to make but you if you look at the <laughs> Right. If you look at the Nets, they have these three guys. They have them under contract for the next couple of years. Um, and now they will be able to add to them. So if you remember in Miami, they had the big three. They weren't a great team the first year. And then they were able to get Shane Battier. And then they were able to get Ray Allen and, and Birdman Anderson and Norris Cole. And so the Nets are going to be able to do that. They're going to be able to go out and add the complimentary players. There's going to be guys who want to go there. And so already this year during the season, since they traded for James Harden, they got Blake Griffin. Mm. They got uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. Unfortunately, that ended uh, you know, prematurely. Um, they're going to continue to get those high-level role players. And so when you look at everything, you'd have to feel pretty good about them because there's three of them. The Lakers have AD and LeBron. There's two of them. The, 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 the Nets have three. Uh, I don't know, that's where I'd have to put my money. Mm. Thanks so much, Brian. Always good to talk to you. Have a good day, guys. All right. Thanks, Randy. All right, Brian Windhorst on the Goodyear Hotline. So the NBA is on ESPN Radio Tune in tonight as the Hawks host the Wizards. Presented by Indeed, coverage begins at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on most ESPN radio stations. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.